Fable 3, we're working on the quest, Double A Gamer for Life. The animal liberation, the debt, and frame for murder. Okay, those are those uh, assassination ones. They're real quick. Mm. And uh, I mentioned in other videos that I think it's extremely lame. Ah, the hero. I don't know why they did it, but they did. Nevertheless, uh, we're going to go meet this crazy lady. She wants us to go free some chickens. And it's a quest, and we're going to get to it. Do you believe in animal rights? Well, do you? Those bastards, the greedy pie makers of Bowerstone, certainly don't, that's for sure. They experiment on them for new salves, rouges, lip balms, and other futile fripperies. Then they kill them and put them into pies. <laughs> it's barbaric. Someone like you could do something about it, though. Free them from those evil carnivorous tyrants. All you have to do is, well, break into a certain factory and open all the cages. Will you do it? You'll do it? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. If we don't help those defenseless animals, then who will? You're that psycho killer, ain't ya? Ooh! Don't oh, I think I'm sitting on a splinter! Oh well. that murderer, aren't you? You hurt my mate. I'll have you for that. You'll have to do better than that to get one past me.
tall bugger, ain't ya? Come here, let me make you a head shorter. Yeah, make him bleed. Not on my new shirt, though. Oh, that looked like it hurt, matey. One hell of a knockdown! Don't just stand there and get it, you fool! Dodge around a bit! Denied! Hello. Them. You absolute darling! Thank you so much. You can leave the rest to me. I'm going to build some kind of animal hotel, I think. Five star, of course. With lots of food and games and fun and stuff. It'll be like a little animal paradise here on Earth. You there. I hear you know how to use those weapons of yours. Well, I've got someone for you to use them on. You there. I hear you know how to use those weapons of yours. Well, I've got someone for you to use them on. Bloke by the name of Alan. He robbed me, he did. Took almost a thousand gold. It is true, we were gambling, and technically he did win. And theoretically, it was fair. And actually, you shouldn't just have anyone who annoys you killed. But all that aside, my mind's made up. Where shall I go to get a nice coat for the winter? Great. Alan's probably in Bowerstone Industrial, trying to get a game going with someone. Go make sure he doesn't succeed. Ever. Hello.
Cedric will get back on his feet, and when he does, I'll knock him off him again. <laughs> Have you tried this stuff? Make... There's got to be someone around here who wants to lose some money. What's going on? There's a sale on round here. Isn't I can there? tell you this. Our parents never... Definitely feeling lucky today. You murderer! You've got oh. some cheek hanging round oh. here. What a scare! Right. first. Oh, I'm a bit jumpy. Guards! Assault! Assault! Guards! There's a murder attempt going on. Incredible. I don't have time oh. for murderers. Lots of adventures. Payment accepted, citizen. Do not break the law again. Yeah. Just keep your nose clean. Right, brilliant. Now I just need to find a new card game and win some money. Hiring assassins isn't cheap, you know. Don't leave your fate to chance. Buy some potions. No one on Bowerstone has there. better products. The finest wares in Albion. Making a name for yourself, are you? So everyone knows who you are. An admirable goal. Me? No one knows who I am right now. But soon, I'll be widely known as the man with the world's largest Thomas Cadkin collection. I've been buying his paintings for years. They're cheap as chips, because he's just a run-of-the-mill struggling artist. But what if he were suddenly famous? Then his paintings would be worth a fortune. And what better way for an artist to become famous than to meet an unfortunate end? Understand where I'm going with this? Eating is so boring. Excellent! Cadekin lives in Brightwall Village. Come back and let me know when the deed's done. I'll be lining up buyers. Best of Bowerstone, right here. If you can't find what you'll you'll want, find our prices it's not worth buying. Potions that that for every me. occasion. So I'm good to them. That's a fine item. There you go. Come back anytime. That's a fine item. You don't care who you hurt or kill. Do I'll buy anything. One day, my paintings will hang in every home in Albion. 
One in twenty, anyway. And me? Best shop You're in sure Bible. to find You've something special to for that someone special. You don't often hear about... Bit well, of a shortage of goods, but I bet you need so this I'll money in the first place. More if you've got what I'm looking for. Yeah, nice. Ah, hello. We're owned by a real adventurer. So, you know our you know, goods are good. You know, if you spend more, I can get some better stuff in. People are ravenous for these horrid paintings. It's even better than I thought. Oh, isn't art wonderful? Okay, so that wraps up these. Uh, I've mentioned many times that I very dislike these stupid uh, assassination quests. I mean... Are you planning on I'd rather go free slaves than do this. This is just stupid. But it is what it is. I kill the guy, turn your safety off, and the guard comes up. You pay the fine. It's just lame. Anyway, let's get to the next quest. Double A Gamer for Life. Hope you're liking the videos.